Hey, race fans, this is Chet Christner with your Comp Cam's top five moments on flow racing from this past week. Wadi coming after the leader, Von Doren into the wall. Von Doren kissed the wall down there. Almost three wide for the top spot. Last race of the year for the modified, and they're making it one to remember here at Bridgeport. It's a fierce and feisty feature for our number five during Bridgeport Motorsports Park's High Bank Classic. Craig Von Doren has given everything he's got trying to hold off Ryan Godown, swapping the lead one, two, three, four times before Ryan Watt arrived on scene and gave it the old application of persuasion on his side of go down and took second away. Von Doren would bounce the cushion getting go down back into the mix and then the two Ryans would then go head to head with Ryan go down eventually picking up his ninth Bridgeport big block win of the season before packing up the holler and heading south for the short track super series Cajun swing this week. Willie Croft leads Colby Thornhill however Thornhill back to his inside. And a one and two check out the Washington driver. Colby Thornhill gets into a bump, now picks the front end up off the ground, and he's upside down. Red flag is out. Number four happens at the Stockton Dirt Track, where Colby Thornhill's challenging to the inside of Willie Croft when, ho, oh, things went amuck in a large way. I don't know if that's what whiskey throttle looks like in a sprint car, but if I had to guess. Dominic Selzy would take the lead on the restart and never look back, picking up his 22nd win of the season. Upside down, looks like Shane Golovic at three and four. Justin Sanders, Dominic Sells, he also had a piece of that. It's the 38th annual tribute to Gary Patterson that stocked the dirt track for our number three, where the NARC King of the West Series and Sprint Car Challenge Tour are running their final events of the season. Shane Golovic and Dominic Selzy are battling in the SCCT feature when Selzy slips to the outside of Golovic and is out of there. Shane eventually ran down Selzy in traffic, however, and was able to slip to the outside and into victory lane in the 360s. Gullivick's search for the sweep came to a lofty end in the Dark King of the West 410s when he hovered his way onto Dominic Selzy's top wing, collecting Justin Sanders in the process. Meanwhile, up front, 15-year-old Corey Day led every lap to win the Gary Patterson Classic with Dominic Selzy in his blouse and gouged 41 car winning the Dark King of the West Championship. All right, both cars leading the line. Speed as they travel, that should be a 10 to Oh, no, hang on to it! Into the wall, the big end in the left lane, 909 for Harrison right there. Our number two happens in qualifying round number two at Maryland Air National Raceway's World Cup Finals. Edgar Rivera has been racing his 96 Honda Integra since 97, but unfortunately he's about to suffer a major setback in the left-hand lane. Edgar grabs fourth and the little Honda the could lifts the head because, as Barrett would say, Edgar likes to run all the boost. The resulting miss kicks the tail of the car loose and unfortunately Edgar's not able to get back underneath of him again. Oh, Jake goes a little wide. Brady Bacon tries to go to the inside. The end of turn number three. Jake going to run a wide out going through three. Jake Swanson inches ahead. Checker flag going to come down. Wind goes to go. Oh, you picture that one. And our number one is Paris Auto Speedway's USAC Oval Nationals. Thursday's opener and Kevin Thomas Jr. is leading on the last lap when Jake Swanson throws caution to the wind and just hucks it into turn number three. Brady Bacon sees an opening on the inside, and that, my friends, gives us a three-wide photo finish at the line with Jake Swanson picking up his first national win by less than the blink of an eye. Night two, and Justin Grant looks to have the field covered when he suddenly loses steam going into the final lap. A broken nozzle line steals his thunder, and national points leader Brady Bacon would slip through to pick up the win. Night three, and Justin Grant is again up front when Kevin Thomas Jr. charges through on the inside and picks up his third Oval Nationals win, which puts him just 52 points back from Bacon going into Arizona Speedway's Western World Weekend. 